right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I hope that you're safe, protected, and prayed up. I pray that you get more strength and that you stay more solid day after day. And I hope that your relationship with the Most High is getting better as well. Now, today's message I want to discuss about you will rejoice in salvation. You know, you will be restored. You will be happy and at a good place. You will be renewed. You will be a new creature in Christ, okay? When you get into repentance and baptism and faith, you will find so much joy like no other this world can give you. All right, salvation is very important, and it's very important to have faith and have Christ and to be a whole new person. Too much people right now are just going in circles and just kind of going all over the place and a bit unstable. But the Most High wants to give us stability. He wants to give us, of course, love and this peace and this comfort. And we want to he wants us to enjoy things, you know, and not just things of the world, but him and his presence. He wants us to really have real peace and real comfort. He wants us to have real joy, and real happiness like no other. All right. And that that process of changing towards Christ and that process of being restored, it's a very beautiful feeling, you know, being refined and becoming who the most high wants you to be. That's a powerful transition and transformation that he wants out of all of us. And we got to also want it, too. So I just want to let you know and remind you that you will rejoice. OK, keep rejoicing. All right. Nobody could steal your joy. Nobody could take away your sanity. All right. Just stay focused and stay strong on the path. All right. So what I would love to do is just read some scriptures about rejoicing in your salvation and go from there. All right. So here we go. The book of Galatians, chapter five, verse 22. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness and faithfulness. The book of Romans, chapter four, verse 17. For the kingdom of God is not of eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. The book of first Peter, chapter one, verse eight. And though you have not seen him, you love him. And though you do not see him now, you believe in him. You greatly rejoice with joy, inexpressible and full of glory. The book of Psalm 35, verse 9, And my soul shall rejoice in the Lord. It shall exult in his salvation. The book of Psalm 13, verse 5, But I have trusted in your loving kindness. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. The book of Psalm 20, verse 5, We will sing for joy over your victory. And in the name of our God, we will set up your ba- our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. The book of Psalm 9, verse 14, that I may tell of all your praises that in the gates of the daughter of Zion, I may rejoice in your salvation. The book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 11, and not only this, but we also exult in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. The book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 2, through whom also we have obtained our introduction by faith and to this grace in which we stand and we exult in hope of the glory of God. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, verse 6, in this you greatly rejoice, even though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been distressed by various trials. The book of Isaiah, chapter 12, verse 3, therefore you will joyously draw water from the springs of salvation. The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 14, you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 10, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing yet possessing all things. The book of Romans, chapter 16, verse 19, for the report of your, the report of your obedience has reached to all. Therefore, I am rejoicing over you, but I want you to be wise in what is good and innocent in what is evil. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 9. For we rejoice when we ourselves are weak, but you are strong. This we also pray, pray for that you be made complete. The book of Isaiah chapter 35, verse 10. And the ransomed of the Lord will return and come with joyful shouting to Zion with everlasting joy upon their heads. They will find gladness and joy, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. The book of Isaiah, chapter 51, verse 11. So the ransomed of the Lord will return, 
and come with joyful shouting to Zion, and everlasting joy will be on their heads. They will obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. Mm -hmm. The book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 7. Instead of your shame, you will have a double portion. And instead of humiliation, they will shout for joy over their portion. Therefore, they will possess a double portion in their land. Everlasting joy will be theirs. The book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 3. You shall multiply the nation. You shall increase your gladness. They will be glad in your presence as with, as with the gladness of harvest, as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. The book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, my servants will eat, but you will be hungry. Behold, my servants will drink, but you will be thirsty. Behold, my servants will rejoice, but you will be put to shame. All right. The book of John, chapter 16, verse 20. Truly, truly, I say to you that you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. You will grieve, but your grief will be turned into joy. The book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 3, to grant those who mourn in Zion, giving them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a spirit of fainting. So they will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. The book of John, chapter 16, verse 22, therefore you too have grief now, but I will see you again and your heart will rejoice and no one will take your joy away from you. The book of John, chapter 16, verse 24. Until now, you have asked for nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive so that your joy may be made full. The book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 15. Whereas you have been forsaken and hated with no one passing through, I will make you an everlasting pride, a joy from generation to generation. The, the book of Philippians, the Philippians, chapter 1, verse 25. Convinced of this. I know that I will remain and continue with you all for your progress and joy in the faith. The book of 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 13. But to the degree that you share the sufferings of Christ, keep on rejoicing so that also at the revelation of his glory, you may rejoice with exaltation. The book of Psalm 51, verse 12. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain me with a willing spirit. All right, so... Let's rejoice in our sal in salvation. Hallelujah. Let's rejoice. Let's have access to God. Let's have eternal blessings. Okay. Let's have that joy and happiness, you know, that promised joy. Let's be restored, that restored joy. You know what I mean? Because so much people have gotten their joy taken away. A lot of people have been under attack. A lot of people have been so broken down and heartbroken. But we need that. We need to rejoice. We need to have that salvation. We need Christ. We need that restoration. We need to be renewed. Okay. So let's rejoice in our relationship with the Most High, and let's count it all joy, okay? Let's all get through these obstacles, and let's keep being positive, all right? And let's be realistic as well. So that's the scriptures concerning that. So what I would like to do as we close out is just give all the glory to the Most High for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise His Son who passed away for our sins, hallelujah, who died for our sins. So let's go from there as we close out. He is the Adam, the Advocate, the Almighty, the Alpha and Omega, Amen, the Apostle of our profession, the Arm of the Lord, the Atonement Sacrifice for our sins, the Author and Finisher of our faith, the Author and Perfecter of our faith, the Author of life, the Author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the Beloved Son, the Blessed and Only Potent, the Blessed and Only Ruler, the Branch, the Bread of God, the Bread of Life, the Bridegroom, the Capstone, the Captain of Salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, first and last, first begotten, first born from the dead, first born of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, king of Israel, king of kings and lord of lords, 
King of saints, King of the ages, King of the Jews, the King, the Lamb, the Lamb of God, the Lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader, commander, the life, the light of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Be Yahweh, Ahai, Yeshaya, Mahamashim, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, our righteousness, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice to Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the truth, the way, the way, the truth, and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of life, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. So there you have it, people. All praises and glory to the most high of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and his begotten son, his only begotten son that, that, dies for, that died for our sins, all right? So there you have it, people. Let's all rejoice in our salvation, man. You know, let's embrace that relationship with the most high and his son. Let's embrace repentance. Let's embrace baptism. Let's embrace that new restored joy. Let's embrace praising him and having that that good time, you know. God wants us to have joy and rejoice, all right? Put on some praise break music. Put on some house gospel mix music and just dance and praise the Lord and enjoy yourself, all right? Thank the Lord for saving you. Thank the Lord for protecting you. Thank the Lord for restoring you and, and guiding you and protecting you and renewing you. Thank him for that and rejoice, okay? Be glad, all right? The joy of the Lord is your strength, so keep pushing, keep fighting the good fight, and stay solid, all right? So there you have it, people. I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized, you start your life over for the Lord. I pray that you find a new joy, you sing a new song, that you get up off your feet and praise him and give him a big shout, all right? And just embrace it. Embrace the most high and rejoice, 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 okay? I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.